You know, I, I, I've had this company, uh, Loft Arts Productions, for three, three years. Um, just seeing a, a lot of people not working and wanting to uh, provide more uh, situations for us to, to play and to explore and to find money to support <coughs> that um, is what's happening for me this year. In this this period that seems bleak to a lot of other folks. Yeah, and the other thing is that I think artists are always used to, um, always accustomed to just uh, uh, the flow, you know, the ebb and tide, and we, we never panic when things get slow, and you know, now the same formula has uh, uh, come down on corporate America, and everybody's like in this panic, and I'm like, well, you know, join the real world. It's like you know, uh, you just gotta, you got you gotta. I mean, in a way, I think it's really a gift that we're all artists because we do know how to hustle. We do know that we can't panic when things get slow. And if you don't panic, then you can just figure out ways to be creative and and um, keep things moving forward. So that's just been my attitude. I'm just not gonna lose it. Well, it is our birthday, so... Right, right, right. That's right. It's a little whole bit. thing. <laughs> we're, the we're, concert we're, is, a, is a birthday. Yeah. We're, we're, we share the same birthday. Same birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this is... I think this is really special that um, we were able to have this, this time to... to um, celebrate our birthdays um, on the <laughs> on the fourteenth, you know, um, to to invite people to to come celebrate with us, and then also share some music I think, to you know. Yeah, because Neil had asked me about doing this in August, and I was away. So when she said November fourteenth, I said that's two days before our birthday. So. since fifth grade, so oh. it's about a gazillion years. Oh, yeah. right? I started when I was 10, so yeah. it seems like a public school. trillion years. It's public school, right? Um, house for, in the house first. Oh, my, my okay. Father, my, my father, uh, you know, he had the bass, but then he had the cello in the corner by the piano. So I, would, so I had a choice of a few different things, piano, Jello bass. I try bass first, haha. -ha. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't put my feet on the floor or hold the strings down. I said, this is impossible. So cello seemed to be just right, looked just like the bass, had all of the sounds, you know, mm -hmm. type of thing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so. I always knew that I wouldn't be a classical musician, even though uh, I had this idea in my head that I needed to have classical training and I needed to have the information available. And uh, you know, I, I actually started playing tunes when I was ten. When I picked up cello, you know, playing. Um, you know, Embraceable You and, you know, all of those tunes uh, that, I, that I heard all the time in my family. I think I, I didn't get the memo uh, emotionally about the classical music thing until a little bit down the line. Um, uh, well, the first, uh, I mean, I just started off and that's just all I knew was just, you know, you're playing, you're group songs in elementary and middle school, but I guess somewhere between middle school and high school, uh, I had these, uh, middle school teacher was a jazz trumpet player, he didn't know how to teach strings, so all we did was just jam on the piano. I used to think guitar was pretty traditional until I 
I met Mr. Mr. Huey Cox who's playing a seven string guitar and I've never seen that before. And not only guitar, he's got all these other instruments. <laughs> Hard knock, like the economy? Yeah, yeah, juggling. Juggle. I just think about a big repair I had to get done when I moved to New York. You're talking about, you know, just moving here. And it was like a thousand dollars to repair my violin. The guy let me borrow an instrument. And I swear I had that that lender for a year. I mean, that's how long it took me to. That's a hard knock. That, yeah. I, 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 instrument that I was fortunate someone gave me. The sound is really nice. I'm still playing around with different strings, you know, always mm -hmm. exploring different strings and trying to get a bigger, better sound with bow and all. This one is a tear bearing uh, instrument and this is for me more of a uh, exploration with amps and pedals and different things. So I'm still playing around with that as well. I found strings that I like. This is the instrument that I mainly play. I put the LR bags on it. Uh, I like it. I mean, I like to get another bow. I've got a few bows, but I like to get another bow. I like to get a five string um, uh, instrument and amplify it. Cello, Huey Cox on guitar, seven string guitar, Ewan Baker on drums, and Gwen Laster Band. It's a fiery strings uh, concert. Sisters, fiery string sisters, we're going to play at the theater lab on November 14th. Uh, <laughs> Cake and champagne? Sunday. Did I hear champagne? Champ We're going to bring a uh, little champagne. Hopefully it'll go around, so you have to make sure you... you uh, <laughs> I can bring my own? Yes, you can bring your own champagne. That's even better. More better. Two o'clock. See you there. Cool. <laughs>